Hey, let's start today with the gummy bear dance. You probably recognize the song, it's real fun. Um, it's a little involved, so just watch what I do and follow along. Let's do it. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, I'm a yummy, yummy, funny, lucky gummy bear. I'm a jelly bear. We're going to do a movement exploration activity now and it is called the star dance and you're going to hear music in the background and um, I'm going to tell a story through the music. Um, this is a movement only activity so no voice. Um, you're going to tell the story with your body and in the story your hands are going to be the stars. Okay so if it says the star started dancing then you start doing how you interpret it the way you think it should be told. Um, but it's all body. We're not making any noises or anything like that. So, um, so listen to the story and act it out as you hear me tell the story. All right. Explore your movements. Begin in a crouched, stooped position with both hands on the floor. This is a story of two stars. As the sun went down, the stars came up. One night, one star started dancing. Then, the other star began dancing too. One star said, follow me. And then the other star said, follow me. One day, they decided to go dancing through the galaxy. Sometimes 
Sometimes they saw other stars and danced together in partners. Other stars saw arches and flew under them. Sometimes, big groups of stars dance together. Finally, the stars dance their way back home. And as the sun came up, the stars went down. All right, let's do a fun song and game. So the game part of it is a lot like rock, paper, scissors, except you're going to have a gorilla, a man, and a ninja, okay? So <clears throat> there's a song that goes with it that you sing at the beginning of every round that tells you who wins in the game. And it goes like this. Gorilla beats a man, man beats a ninja, Ninja beats gorilla if you tie your out. Okay, so that's how the song goes. And so it tells you who wins. So gorilla beats a man, man beats a ninja, ninja beats gorilla. And if you tie, so if you both get the same thing, then you're both out. Okay? So you sing that, and the way the game goes, you sing that song, and you're back to back with a partner. And you sing that song, you go through it, and then whenever it goes, if you tie, you're out. You, right after that word, you turn around and you do one of those things. You pick one, you cannot change. You can't do this and then see your partner and then change to something else. You have to stick with it. And then you think about the song and think about who wins. And if you win, you pair up with somebody else who won. And that's if you're like in a group setting. Or you could do like two out of three, where <clears throat> whoever wins, um, they get a point and so you see who can get to who can get the most points out of three rounds okay so let's do the song again so it starts with gorilla gorilla beats a man man beats a ninja ninja beats gorilla if you tie you're out and you do this for tie like a regular tie but we're talking about the different tie right so let's do the song together show me your gorilla gorilla beats a man Man beats a ninja, ninja beats gorilla, if you tie, you're out. And then you spin around, okay? And you can do it faster, let's do it at speed, ready? Get your gorilla. Gorilla beats a man, man beats a ninja, ninja beats gorilla, if you tie, you're out. All right, and you just sing that at the beginning of every round and you have to be facing away from each other and then after you sing the song, then you turn and face each other and do one of them, okay? Now here's a little clip of what it looks like when you play in a pair, okay? So whenever two people play together, this is what it looks like. Gorilla beats a man, man beats a ninja, ninja beats gorilla if you tie your up. So Miss Onrods is gorilla and I'm man, so who won? Miss Onrods is man, man beats 
Let's all rise. Okay, let's do one more time. This is how it's with a partner. Ready? Gorilla beats a man. Man beats a ninja. Ninja beats gorilla if you tie, you're out. Oh, we tied, so that means we're both out. Oh no. All right, we'll go play with the partner and have fun. All right, so play that game, do the song, and I hope you have fun with it. That is Gorilla Man Ninja. If you would like, pause here and go play Gorilla Man Ninja with someone in your household. Then continue with the lesson. Hey y'all, we're gonna do a um, short melody today and it's called Morgan Cannon. Um, and it's using five languages saying good morning or good day. And so I'm gonna sing through it real quick. It's real short and then I'll break it down. We'll talk about which languages they are and how to pronounce them. So it goes like this. Good morning, good morning, Okay, so that's how it goes. Um, there are five languages as you can see. We have Guten Tag, Buenos Dia, Good Morning, you should know that one, Guten Tag, and Bonjour. So can you identify which languages we have? One you should know, what's the most common language here? English, that's Good Morning in the middle. Um, what about this second one? You should probably, you probably heard that one before too. Buenos dias. What language is that? Did you get Spanish? That is right. Um, then we have this one's pretty common too. Bonjour. You probably heard that one. Do you know what language that is? That is French. That's right. French. So we have English. Good morning. Spanish. Buenos dias. Bonjour. French. And then these other two, the first one, and the fourth one sounds very similar. The first one is guten dog. The fourth one is guten tag. So did you notice the difference? Guten dog, guten tag. So you have a D in the first one, guten dog, and you have T's in the fourth one. So you may recognize the fourth one. <clears throat> it's probably more common than the first one. Guten tag, can you guess what language that is? That is German. That is German. And then guten dog, the way I remember that is because the D's are Dutch. Okay? That's Dutch. So like in the Netherlands, that's what they speak. So we have guten dog, Dutch. Buenos dias, Spanish. Good morning, English. Guten dog, German. And bonjour, French. Okay? So repeat after me. After me. I'll go first. Good and Your turn. That is Dutch. Do it again. Do it with me this time. Good and Then the second one, repeat after me. Buenos dias. Your turn. That's Spanish. And it's buenos dias. It's not buenos dias. Buenos dias. Like a th th. Like a hard TH where the D is. Buen, buenos dias. Okay, so we have guten dog, buenos dias. Let's sing it. The first one, guten dog, goes up with your voice. Guten dog. Then buenos dias goes low. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So let's put those together. So it goes up with your voice and then lower. Okay, so do that with me. Ready, set, go. Good and Buenos dias. There you go. Now, good morning. You're going to jump up high on good morning. You're going to jump up high. And that's just two or two main pitches, and then you go back down. So it's good morning. Good morning. Do that with me. Good morning. All right, so let's put those together. So the first one goes up, then low. Then jump up high with your voice for good morning. Ready, set, go. Good and Buenos dias. Good morning. Let's do that one more time. Ready, set, go. 
Good morning. You got it? That's the first half. Then we have Guten Tag, Bonjour. And they kind of go together. You're going to go down with your voice. Guten Tag, Bonjour. So put those two together. Guten Tag, Bonjour. And it's not Bonjour, er, Bonjour, oh. Okay, so don't close off that R. All right, so let's do that last part. Guten Tag, Bonjour. Okay, so it starts out by going up with Guten Tag, then low for Buenos Dias, then jump up high for Good Morning, and then your voice goes all the way down for Guten Tag, Bonjour. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Ready, set, go. Guten Tag, Buenos Dias, Good Morning, Guten Tag, Bonjour. And you get it? Okay, so this time we're going to go through it. I want you to try to close your eyes and just sing with me. Try not to read the words on the screen. Ready, set, go. Good and up, when I see us. Good morning, good and up, bonjour. You get it? All right, I hope so. So that is Morgan Cannon, and that is using Dutch, Spanish, English, German, and French. So now you know five languages how to greet somebody, which is pretty cool. You could even sing this song to them. That was kind of funny. So, um, but that is Morgan Cannon. So I hope you learned it and you went through it with me. Thanks, guys. Bye. Now, pause here and go sing that song to someone in your family and see if they can guess which languages are in the song. Then continue with the lesson. We're now going to have my friend and special guest, Mrs. Tratine, teach us about musical form and a fun dance to La Raspa. Hi, this is Mrs. Tratine here from Caldwell Elementary School. I'm so glad you joined me again today. We're going to learn a really fun dance. This is a Mexican folk song called La Raspa. Let's think about first how this music is organized, and then I'll teach you how to do the dance. We see the letter A on this page, don't we? When we see the letter A, we are gonna hear music that sounds like this. Did you hear the trumpets? That means that was the section A, and also I showed you that I clapped my hands, right? So we see both of those things down at the bottom of the page. We see the trumpets and hand clapping, and that means we're listening to the section A part. But there's another part called B. Let's hear how that's different. <laughs> that part, I heard some violins. And I see the violins on the picture, don't you? And you can see that there's going to be some dancing in that part too. So we hear the letter A, we hear the trumpets, and we have the hand clapping. And then when we hear more violins, that's the section B part. When it's time to dance, we're going to do A, then B, then an A, then a B. And it's going to be a pattern an A, B pattern. When we make patterns like that in music, we call that the form. So the form of our song is A, B form. Let's get ready to dance now. Okay, let's get ready to dance. We already talked about how we're going to have A, B form. So let's learn the A part first. On the A part, you put your hands on your hips, and then you're going to make your heels go on the beat like this. One, two, three, clap, clap. 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 clap. That's the A part. Let's try it with the music. Now, 
about the B part, we're going to pretend that we have a partner, or if you're lucky and someone's at home with you that can do this, you'll just hook on elbows with them and turn in a circle with them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And switch. Other elbow. Go around until the music changes. Let's try that part with the music. This is the B section. Here we go. Oh, did you hear the music change back to the letter A? So you're going to be going back and forth with A and then B. Let's start from the beginning and do the whole thing together. Here we go. I hope you had fun dancing and singing today. Now, go back to this assignment in Seesaw and submit a recording of you doing one of the options listed in the instructions. I can't wait to see them. See y'all next week. Bye, friends.